I do care what you do with this information because it is important to our survival as a species. It's important to our planet. It is important for the world. This is a subject that really took a huge impact of my life and also not not in the, not just my life but the life of my friends my family and eventually uh, uh, a year after or sometime after my conversion in Christ and what it did to my life and my spiritual life when I went back to these games all over again and so if this if you know somebody who's struggling with video games and maybe you're the one struggling with video games well, this video is just for you because I can relate to you and I can relate to those guys who you know that have addiction to video games. So I want to first begin by talking about myself here and how it affected my mind so much. And not just my mind, but in the minds of others because I'll hang around with, I'll, I'll hang around with other guys who were also too uh, addicted to video games and in, in which it would share some of this stuff and some of the stuff these guys desired was pretty uh, pretty weird pretty strange uh, some of them desired you know to have a woman to have a woman like you know the woman of Final Fantasy or you know women like that not real women you know like not real women who seek to you know, responsibility and, and wisdom and so on and so forth. No, they seek women who 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 is like or somewhat close to the women they see in a video game. They had really weird intentions in the mind and but I mean I'm here to talk about myself. Um what as some of the effects it did to my life was I, I lack sleep. You know. I, I wasn't sleeping right, I was up all night playing video games. You know, I lack eating right. I wasn't eating correct. I'll, I'll eat one meal a day and, the, you know, back to video games again. Or, I'll, or, or, or if I didn't want to cook, I'll eat junk food because I was too lazy to cook, right? And go back to video games. And another thing too was, I was also addicted to television and computers. Anything to do with anything to do with a screen, I had to be there. You know, as soon as I was born of of, of video games. I go to television. As soon as I bought a television, computer, and it was just like this non-stopping cycle over and over, always being hooked on something to do with a screen. And I and eventually made me lazy, yes, and and and, and I lack exercise. And you know, I, I love sports. I love I love going out playing soccer. Soccer is my favorite sport. You know, I like going out for walks and jogs and getting to know places and you know get up my butt and type of things and, and go out and do something, right? I lacked that. You know, I, I lacked doing that. Something that would have been good for my body. I wasn't doing it anymore, right? Because of video games, you know, it made me forgetful, like, you know, have on here. It made me have wrong desires, you know. All I would do is, because of it, I had wrong desires, you know, I'd want to go out and, you know, steal or commit crime or do something because all I'll do is I'll play video games. I'd, what do you do? You kill, torture, steal, corrupt, lie, do a bunch of evil immorality stuff that make doesn't make me a better person but makes me a, a bad person. And, you know, it made me miserable at a point, you know, maybe maybe very wretched and, and, and depressed, I could say, because I I was just hooked into a fantasy world that I didn't get anything from this. I mean, it's it, it's a game, guys. It's a video game. It's not even real. The things you achieve on these games, they're not gonna come out in real life. You know, like this. It, it's you gotta get real here. It's a game, and don't get me wrong. I was there too. I was hooked into a game. This ridiculous games that I spend time and money to, right? So this is this is the reality of it. And another thing I really really regret that it happened, but I don't want to live in regret and you know I want to move forward now and move and move ahead was my family. This really took a huge thing on my family and and the things 
I could have done with my family and spend more time with my family. I could have been a good son to my parents, but no. Why? Because of video games again, right? So these are some of the things that uh, you know it, it, it affected my family, affected me towards my family. It was, you know, I was you know lacking spending time with my parents, my brothers. You know, I wasn't doing things with them anymore. I wasn't going out spending time with them. You know, they would tell me, "Hey, let's go out and you know play or." play some sports or let's go out for a walk in the mall or something like that I wasn't doing that why because I was hooked into video games again you know eventually made me disobedient unloving uncaring rebellious selfish unthankful unhelpful towards my parents you know I wasn't becoming a very good son anymore my new family was video games and my family in the video games, it was like the characters in the games that I pl I would play. You know, the little crew you get in a Final Fantasy game or, or whatever, whatever other games you play. That was my new family now, and I was spending more time with them than to spend time with my parents, my real blood in flesh family. And I could have, you know, I could have made things better. I, I could have been a, a better son and, and had a more happier family and get to know them a bit more but the past is the past and I have to live forward now and I'm good with my parents now I'm, you know this is not going on today so another thing too that really took a hold on, on, on me and was my friends and you know how I came to them and how I approached them to the, towards them afterwards and during my, my addiction I should say not towards after but uh, during my addiction how I reacted towards them and this is these are one of the things right I lack communication with them you know I, I you know we had interest clash you know because I was too busy into video games oh that's, that's all I would think about is video games so we had interest class we, we didn't talk about the same subjects or the common subjects we had anymore you know and at some points I lost some good friends right some you know people who really would have cared you know, here again at the bottom, and you know, I ignored some good friends, right? People, people who were good to me, people who wanted to build me up strong. You know, I wasn't doing it anymore. I wasn't hanging out with them anymore. I'm I'm good with them now, but before that, yeah, I was. Uh, I I didn't even hang around with these guys. You know, bad company corrupts good character. This is where, because I was all into video games of of killing and torture and sex and you know drugs and stuff like that that's who I hung around with I hung around with bad people people that's all that's what they did they went around stealing and doing drugs and you know lived a, a bad lifestyle I started hanging around with them because the games I played was also a bad lifestyle and so this corrupted me morally I became immoral instead of becoming holy and pure you know so this is the one thing. And another thing too is a lot of, I lack creativity. So when I hung around with my friends, again, this goes back to the interest clash. When I hung around with my friends, we didn't you know, we'd be so creative in what we'd we what we'd do. We would go out and hang around and do something creative and do something that was not repetitive and 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 and, and yeah, get to spend time with each other. That that was all erased because in my mind all I was thinking about it was video games. How do I beat the next boss? What's the next level like? What's when is when when is the next game coming out? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just things that weren't even important to to or even worth time to think about was in my mind. But again, you know, I didn't do. I I, I didn't I didn't I didn't have a good approach to my friends afterwards. When I could have had a good approach when I could have good friends who would have built me up strongly could have built me up morally you know could have edify me in instead I went along with these types of people and these people didn't do anything that's all they did is they had the same problem as me video game addiction right and it didn't make me any better right two wrongs don't make a right so when I could have seeked mentorship and 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 seeked God more and 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 look and look for 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 counsel, and be with men who who are experienced in life, where they, where, where they could have guided me and, and and made me wise and strong in God. 
and no that 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 didn't even exist and and eventually you know what after my conversion in Christ um I went back to video games uh and yes it did it did it did took a hold on on my spirituality you know I like prayer I wasn't spending time with God I wasn't spending time with the Bible uh you know sometimes I'd I'd won't go to church because I would be stuck in this video, in this in this level in a in a game that I couldn't beat that I wasn't going to get anything out of it where I could have went to church and got something real out of it right you know that I could have exercised in real life but here I yes again you know stuck in a video game because <laughs> I wanted to beat a level that <laughs> anyways this is stupidity, really. What it is. that's all it is. This is stupidity. You know, I fell into sin eventually, right? Like I said, mentioned before. And another thing too is, before I go any a little bit further here, at the time I was very aware of the Illuminati, the Freemason, Free, Freemasonry, and all the effects that they have towards the world, and the mark that they put on things that was that belonged to them. Because we got to, we as Christians, we got to know this one thing, is that. This is a fallen world, and this fallen world belongs to Satan. This, this, this Satan, this, this world belongs to Satan, and it's to, and it's, and it's all towards them, right? Everything, everything that this world does, it's towards Satan, and it's for his glory. And so, when I was playing these games, I did exactly right. I'd seen the all-seen eyes in certain games and stuff like that. And, I mean, again, I'm a Christian. I'm, I'm, I'm playing these video games. I don't really care. I'm aware of this. I'm aware of this symbol, but I don't really care because I'm so amused and so entertained and so moved by the entertaining entertainment that this game provided me with. Uh, I really care about the the whole symbolism stuff. I didn't really care about that because I was so entertained and mu amused by the video game and all the things that it provided. And when I knew. This stuff was so satanically marked because it, it, it was so satanically marked, but because I was so amused again with these video games, I didn't even care. Uh, again, I, I didn't even spend time with God, so I didn't even care if this was highly satanic or highly godly or whatever. I was there because the amusement of the game overweight the symbolism and the and the philosophy uh, 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 mindset that this games had provide to me I didn't really care I was more amused to the game right and so in this struggle you know eventually you know eventually I, I came to a point where you know so miserable so depressed I had to make a choice right was I gonna follow God in his word or was I gonna be keep playing these games knowing that they have so many satanic symbolism and philosophy all integrated into it. I had to make a choice. I really had to make a choice. And I, and, and eventually, after praying, seeking God, and other friends of mine praying for me too, especially my mother, I, yes, I, I seek to, 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 to look for God in, in heaven and the things God has for me in heaven. You know, because like, you know, we play these games and, and we think it's so entertaining and we're so amused. But no, God in heaven is more entertaining and more amusement and more amusing than, than, than these video games. Video games are, is nothing compared to heaven. You know, in heaven, there's not going to be no video games, right? Heaven is better than video games. It's it, it's 10 times millions way better than, than video games. You know, there's nothing that can compare to God and 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 heaven and the things God has for us in heaven. You know, we're gonna be for there for an eternity, and we'll never be bored, and we'll never need need video games. So, again, I know some people are struggling with this, and I want to help you guys. And you know, you can comment to me. You can. You know, subscribe me, like me, or if you don't like this, don't like me. I don't really care. You know, send me a message. You know, tell me what you're struggling with in 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 these games, or if maybe if you know somebody else who's struggling in, in these games, you know, send them this video to them, or you know, I could I could I I want to do my best to help you guys from my personal life 
from my personal uh, uh, even after even e even during my my walk with God and how I came back to these video games again I'm out of it now thankfully but you know I want to help you guys so please subscribe message me and uh, thanks for watching and God bless